فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا so the last 10 nights, as we said, our Prophet ﷺ would do i'tikaf because, primarily because he wanted to maximize on finding Laylatul Qadr. And we all know as well that it is not just the last 10, but especially the odd of the last 10. That our Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith in Bukhari, that find Laylatul Qadr in the odd of the last 10 of Ramadan. And so 21, 23, 25, 27, 29. And of these three, in particular, the final nights, of these three in particular, sorry, of these five nights, in particular, the final nights, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that uh, try to find Laylatul Qadr on the 29th and the 27th and the 25th. So then in one hadith, he narrated down even more to those three. And then of those three, the one that has the most probability is of course the night of the 27th. And this is authentically mentioned in one hadith uh, in uh, Sahih Muslim that our Prophet ﷺ said, Laylatul Qadr is the Layla of Sabah wa Ashin. It is the night of the 27th. Laylatul Qadr is the night of the 27th. Now there's a long discussion in the classical books about which night is Laylatul Qadr. And in the end, we do not know for sure. But the highest candidate is 27. And after that is 29 and 25. And then after that is all of the odd nights. And then after that is all of the last 10 nights. And subhanAllah, it's only 10 nights and of them especially five. So if you knew you would get so much reward. Wallahi, if I told you that somebody is giving $10,000 for somebody who does something every night for 10 nights, we would all do it. We would all do it. $10,000 is what compared to a lifetime of worship. So these are the 10 nights of ibadah. These are the 10 nights we do whatever we can. And no doubt 27th is the greatest candidate. But wallahi, how lazy is the one who only chooses 27th and then does nothing on the other nights. Yes, do the most on the 27th. Nobody's saying that. Especially if you're working every day and you can only take one day off, let's say, or maybe change your schedule one day. No doubt, make that the 27th night that you can worship. But the other nights do whatever Whatever you can, whatever you can do to squeeze an extra amount of worship at night and especially on the odd nights. And by the way, some ulama have said that 27th is the greatest candidate for other reasons as well. For example, it is mentioned from Ibn Abbas that he said Allah created seven heavens and Allah created uh, seven earths. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, created or made the tawaf seven, and He made the sa'i uh, seven, and He made the throwing of the jamarat seven. And so Laylatul Qadr is also on the 27th. So Ibn Abbas, who is the greatest scholar of the Sahaba, he would like be categorical. Laylatul Qadr is on the 27th. But that's an opinion of a companion, and we respect it, but it doesn't become the final opinion. Some have even given a very uh, mystical interpretation, nothing wrong with saying it, and that is that if you read Surah Al Qadr, in, uh, in the that the 27th word in Laylatul Qadr is fiha on that night. So it is as if, and this is a mystical interpretation, on the 27th fiha on that night. The 27th word if you count it in the Anzana, if you count 27, you will get to fiha. This is again mystical interpretation. Nonetheless, out of all of the days, 27th is indeed the greatest day. And what? Uh, and of course, there's the opinion that must be said as well that. Uh, some ulama say Laylatul Qadr changes from year to year. And there seems to be good evidence for this. That in one year it might be the 27th, the next year might be the 29th, then it might be the 25th. So Allah varies it throughout the year so that people show their enthusiasm in different Ramadans, different years. And Allah knows best. In the end of the day, seriously, it's 10 nights of those five especially. Really, we should try our best to worship Allah Ta'ala on all of those nights.